As the world's largest chip manufacturer, TSMC has led the chip manufacturing industry for decades. Although there are some competitors, the gap with TSMC is huge and it is not possible to surpass TSMC in a short time. TSMC founder Zhang Zhongmo is very confident in this and believes that TSMC cannot be surpassed, and neither can the United States. However, Zhang Zhongmo never imagined that TSMC's crisis would come. TSMC is confident. In a public speech in September, Zhang Zhongmo detailed that TSMC has three major advantages that the United States cannot surpass, namely low turnover rate of talents and engineers, and convenient transportation. These advantages allow TSMC to remain the number one in the chip manufacturing industry all year round. More than half of the world's wafers are manufactured by TSMC. American companies also rely heavily on TSMC to manufacture chips. Even Intel, the strongest chip manufacturer in the United States, needs TSMC to manufacture high-end CPUs due to insufficient technology. It is precisely because of its huge influence in the industry that TSMC's confidence is clearly demonstrated. When the order from Huawei was lost, TSMC chairman Lu Dayan said that this would not have any impact and that the order would be filled soon. The facts are indeed as Lu Dayan said, American customers are investing heavily in chips, and TSMC's chip production lines operate 24 hours a day, so it will take a long time to meet the chip needs of American customers. Technology, customers, resources, production capacity, etc. are all in a leading position. How can Zhang Zhongmo and Lu Dayan not be proud and confident? However, this self-confidence is gradually turning into arrogance, making Zhang Zhongmo unable to see the reality clearly. In reality, TSMC is at the center of the chip competition among major powers. Because it uses American technology, TSMC has too many limitations. TSMC needs to abide by U.S. rules and is forced to give up orders from Huawei. TSMC needs to build factories in the United States and bear the huge core manufacturing costs in the United States. These are just the beginning. The United States has frequently undermined chip globalization. Zhang Zhongmo never dreamed that TSMC's crisis would come. Zhang Zhongmo, TSMC faces severe challenges. At the sports meeting held by TSMC on October 14, Zhang Zhongmo attended and delivered a speech. Zhang Zhongmo said that semiconductor globalization is gone and TSMC will face severe challenges in the future. TSMC's competitors in the United States have a greater advantage, which will intensify the competitive environment for TSMC's overseas expansion. Zhang Zhongmo expressed concern about TSMC's competitive advantage in the next 20 years. Zhang Zhongmo's words revealed a lot of information. The globalization phenomenon of the global semiconductor industry is changing. Due to U.S. policy restrictions and the rise of technology protectionism, the semiconductor industry is facing more regional protectionism and trade barriers. This is undoubtedly a serious challenge for global suppliers like TSMC. Moreover, American competitors have a greater advantage in expanding factories. The United States strongly supports Intel. Compared with TSMC, the United States cares more about the interests of Intel, a local company, but continues to ask for and take from TSMC. 
If the United States wants to secretly hinder TSMC and reserve enough room for development for Intel, TSMC may find it difficult to deal with it. TSMC's crisis is still coming, and various challenges are coming one after another. TSMC can still be confident now, but it's hard to say what will happen in the next 10 or 20 years. The United States would rather support Intel with all its strength than to have the world's leading chip technology in the hands of foreign companies. Instead of giving TSMC various resources, it is better to spend more time on its own people. Based on this concept, TSMC wants to make a lot of money in the U.S. market and easily obtain U.S. factory building subsidies. It must either give up directly or meet various stringent U.S. subsidy application conditions, such as submitting core information to the U.S. and sharing excess profits with the U.S. etc. TSMC is currently building a 4 nanometers factory in the United States and is also planning a 3 nanometers factory, with a total investment of up to 40 billion U.S. dollars. The first factory was originally scheduled to be put into production in 2024, but due to the lack of skilled workers in the United States, mass production was postponed to 2025. It is estimated that the mass production plan of the 3 nanometers factory will also be affected, extending from the original production time of 2026. TSMC spent so much effort building a factory in the United States because it wanted to make money in the United States, but it didn't realize that building a factory in the United States was a mistake. If TSMC is given another chance to choose, no matter how much subsidies the United States promises, TSMC will not build a factory in the United States. Even though the U.S. market accounts for more than 60% of TSMC's revenue, it is not that important compared with a stable business environment. TSMC has no choice but to continue to build factories. Foreign media lamented, the situation is over. TSMC is no longer the original TSMC. Today, TSMC is under the control of the United States and depends on the face of the United States. Take TSMC's operation of the Nanjing factory in mainland China as an example. TSMC needs to obtain an exemption license from the United States in order to purchase American equipment. Otherwise, it will be difficult to operate the Nanjing factory.